Good Saturday morning at Midlands. I'm Walker Lawson. Let's start off with your weather headlines that you need to know. It is going to be a hot, humid and stormy weekend as well as Labor Day. Then things are going to cool off as a cold front will move through the region. We're going to start to see a sigh of relief away from these 90s. Let's take a look at our coastal cameras. If you are trying to get away from the heat and you're headed to the beach, we see some people out in Myrtle Beach, Charleston. I have some family and friends out there, so enjoy it while you can. The forecast for today, 86 right now. We're going to get up to 95 this afternoon. And it is going to be a warm day. Our current heat index values right now. This is what it feels like when you walk outside. So 91 in Saluda, 88 in Lexington, 91 in Orangeburg and St. Matthews. And as we take a wider look across the state, warmer, of course, further south, Hilton Head 94, 96 for those at the beach in Charleston. Taking a look at the satellite radar right now, we are clear. Just a few scattered showers off the coast. Now, if you're headed out to enjoy the return of college football for our Gamecocks playing Old Dominion at Williams Bryce Stadium, kickoff is at 4:15 this afternoon. But if you're planning on tailgating, take the water out there as well as the sunscreen. It is going to get warm. We're going to be up in the 90s by 2 o'clock and by kickoff, it will be in the 90s. Could feel like triple digits out there and we have the possibility again of a stray shower or storm. So as you can see, as we walk through the day isolated two scattered storms throughout the region. Then tonight the instability will die off, so we'll start to see those storms dissipate through the evening hours. Then tomorrow I'm going to continue to have those southerly winds streaming in. That's going to allow for it to remain hot and humid. And by Sunday, we're going to rinse and repeat what we did today. It is going to be isolated too scattered in nature. But as you can see, there is a cold front that is going to start to slide to our south. And by Monday, we'll start to see that rain increase and then cooler temperatures will be on the way. If you're headed out to the lake this weekend, 92 at Lake Marion. Again, some isolated and scattered storms across the region. Temperatures in the 90s with a light wind. If you're headed to the beach, It'll be cooler. Temperatures will be in the 80s. So Hilton Head 88, Edisto Beach 86, and Folly Beach 85. Thankfully, this Labor Day weekend, we don't have any issues in the tropics, but we are watching three different areas. The first is a disturbance that is right off of the coast of Texas, bringing rain and storms this Labor Day weekend. That has a 20% chance of development over the next seven days. It will be very difficult since it is close to the coast. But again, we do have warm Gulf of Mexico waters. The main disturbance that we're going to be watching and the one that's out here in the Atlantic it has a 50% chance of development over the next seven days. It's going to track towards the Caribbean and then it looks to possibly slide south of Haiti, the Dominican Republic and Jamaica, but it is still a long ways away and we'll have to track that. And then there is a wave rolling off the coast of Africa that has a 10% chance of development over the next seven days as well. So we do see this possibility of some activity. The names on the list next up is Francine, Gordon, Helena. So those are the names that are on the list for the next seven days. As we mentioned, a warm Labor Day weekend, 95 today, 92 tomorrow. Thankfully, a cold front is sliding through. Temperatures are going to drop into the 80s and take a look by Thursday, 77 degrees. Grab that pumpkin spice latte, please. Over the next eight to 14 days, though, much cooler than average temperatures across the East Coast.